Yo, yeah, what's up everyone, it's Gerd, and in this video we're going to be adding a very simple damage system to the game for the enemies. So you can see if I shoot him here, in the console it says hit, and we hit him a few more times until eventually you can see it says death there. And after we keep shooting him, there's no more hits or deaths coming up. So with that out of the way, let's just get straight into the video. Alright, so the first thing we want to do to put the enemies into the game is first of all get an enemy player model. So I've downloaded one off Mixmo and I'm just going to drag it in here. And then now with that in here, I'm just going to create a new folder and then just call this enemy. And then drag in the FBX into this folder. And then in this enemy folder, I'm going to create two new folders. And then the first one's just going to be called materials. And then the second one's going to be called textures. And now clicking on the character's FBX, I'm going to go onto the rig here in the inspector. Change the animation type to be humanoid. And I'm going to create from this model and hit apply. And now in the materials section, I'm going to go extract textures and click on the textures folder. And now it's come up saying I need to fix the normal, so I'm going to click fix now. And now when that's done, I'm going to go extract materials and now select the materials folder. And so with that all done, I'm just going to go in the scene view here and drag in this enemy. And now with the enemy in the scene, I'm going to right click it on the inspector, go onto prefab and unpack completely. And now with that done, I'm just going to click on the enemy and then add a component on here. And this is going to be a capsule collider. And we're going to change this later on when we add ragdolls, but we're just going to get the damage working for now. And then so I'm just going to center this to 0 0.9 and then set the height to 1.8 and then have the radius as 0 0.3. And then I'm just going to make it a little bit taller. I'm going to make it 1.9 and then have this center at 0 0.95. So there we go, that's lined up nicely. And then now what we're going to do is add a new component on here. And then I'm going to call this enemy health. And then create an add. And then I'm just going to double click it to open it up. And now with this open, I'm going to get rid of the start and update function for now. And then I'm just going to make a public void. And I'm going to call this take damage. And then here we want to pass in a float and this is going to be the damage. And then also we're going to need a variable here and then this is going to be for the health. So I'm just going to make a float here, call this health. And then I'm also going to make this a serialized field so you can set it in the inspector before start. And then so in this take damage function, what we're going to do is go health and then minus equal. And this is going to be the damage. And then after this, we're going to check if the health is less than or equal to zero. And if this is true, what we're going to do is run another function, which we need to make here. And then I'm just going to call this enemy death. And so if our health is less than or equal to zero, what we're going to do is just run this function. And then for now, just underneath here again, I'm just going to write debug.log. And then here, I'm just going to print out hit. And then in this enemy death function, I'm just going to debug again. And then just call this death. And so now we need to actually trigger this function. And then to do that, it's going to be in the bullet. So what I'm going to do is in the assets in my scripts folder and open up this bullet script we have here. So we're going to make a few changes to this script. First thing is we're going to delete this timer and then also get rid of this update function. And then in the start, what we're going to do is just write destroy and it's going to be this dot game object and then write a comma. And then it's just going to be the time to destroy. It just makes it a lot easier to understand. And now in this on collision enter function, before we destroy the game object, what we're going to do first is check for if the collision dot game object dot get component in parent, and we're going to check for the enemy health script. And so if this is true, what we're going to do is create a variable called enemy health, and then set this equal to the collision dot game object dot get component in parent. And then this is going to be the enemy health. But now we actually need to get the damage. And so to do that, we need to get it from our weapon manager script. So at the top here, I'm going to have a hide and inspector. And this is going to be a public. And then the weapon manager. And then I'm just going to call this weapon. And I'm going to click on the weapon manager here and press F12 to open up the script. And then so in this script where we have the bullet properties, I'm going to have a public float here. And then this is going to be just called damage. And then I'm going to set this equal to 20 by default. 
And then if we scroll down as well for when we fire, you can see that we get the current bullet here. And so what we need to do is set the weapon manager when we spawn our bullet. So I'm going to create a new line underneath where we spawn the bullet. And so here what we need to do first is get a reference to the bullet script. So I'm just going to write in bullet here and then call this bullet. But we've already got a variable called bullet so I'm just going to call this bullet script. And then set this equal to the current bullet dot get component. And then this is going to be the bullet. And then finally under this we're just going to go bullet script and then dot weapon and set this equal to this. Alright so now we can go back to the bullet script. So now what we need to do is actually damage the enemy and that's really simple. All we need to do is go enemy health and then dot take damage. And then we pass in and it's going to be the weapon dot damage. Alright so now we can test this. But before we do that on the enemy we need to set the health and I'm going to set this to 100. And then also quickly, I'm going to right click, add a UI and just an image so we can make a crosshair quickly. I'm going to set the position X and the position Y to zero and then change the source image to be this knob. Go on the game view and then I'm just going to change the width to be 10 and the height to 10 as well. And then I'm just going to make the color red so it's a bit easier to see. All right, so now we can test this. All right, so now if I shoot him, you can see once it says hit two times hit three four five and then finally we've got a death here but then also you can see he gets hit afterwards and that's not really what we want so back in the enemy health script all we need to do right at the top here is just check if health is greater than zero and then we just need to put all this code back in there all right so if we test this out one more time you can see we shoot him once two three four five times and then we can see if we hit him after this, no more things are going up in the console. Alright, so that's everything for this video. And in the next one, we're going to be adding in ragdolls to the enemies. So when you finally kill them, they're going to drop to the floor. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.